a peaceful life. But when you live in blood, blood come and look again for you. Sorry for my bad English. Uh, thank you. Eho Splendidos, thank you for joining me for Euro Splendor in Athens, Greece, for Comic Dome Con Athens. The smell of these orange trees in bloom in April was really something hypnotizing. And this was also a bit hypnotic. Uh, Greece has been in the news recent years for their economic crisis, the austerity measures and the reforms which uh, followed, and they were all effects of the worldwide Great Recession of 2009. The Hellenic American Union building was packed with fans for the 14th edition of one of the country's premier comic art events. As always, admission is free. There are plenty of merchandise vendors, new and old comics you can snag from Greek artists and international works translated into Greek. The crisis was a common topic with a lot of the artists that I spoke with, but as you're going to see, the indomitable Greek spirit was always present. Among the many activities being hosted this year were an exhibition about the history of Archie Comics and a friendly, lighthearted competition between Greek's top illustrators making their interpretation of Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. The gentleman here is Ilias Kyriegis. We'll catch up with him a bit later. He and all of the rest of the Greek artists were so friendly and accessible, so I'm gonna stop talking and get right to that. Publishers have done some stuff uh, with uh, Arcana Studios, VRH Studios, and uh, a cover or two for IDW. A couple of years ago, we worked on a comic that I wrote. Yeah, it was based on the, uh, on the world I have created. It's my creator own work. It's Dragon Phoenix Chronicles. Uh, you know, it's a world with different heroes and different characters, and we chose a different artist for each character. So it was a pretty nice mashup. On the same pages, characters and artists, mm -hmm. and it was pretty good. It's, uh, something I did with another um, uh, with another writer, Vasilia, and she's one of the uh, organizers here. The Scarlet Sisters trilogy It's actually um, a different take on how the Brides of Dracula were created and the relationship they had with him. Uh, the last couple of years we have more conventions coming to different cities of Greece. So I'm trying to be constant, you know, with traveling all around the, the country cool. to promote comics. Things are difficult, uh, but nowadays when you're an artist, you can use a very powerful weapon, which is the internet. <laughs> Being an artist is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, if you know how to promote your world, your work uh, globally. Mm -hmm. I've been to New York and London, and I mean they're beautiful cities, but I don't think I could live there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things are. Smoother. Mediterranean, you know. <laughs> it's a Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the Mediterranean. Yeah. yeah. Hello, my name is Gordon Blacksmith. I am uh, the comic artist of uh, Metal Hammer magazine. I've been making this comic called uh, Keep a Super Fitty. The English title is um, Dino's Headbangerson. Once he opened a vinyl book, the vinyl, a vinyl of uh, Iron Maiden, and there it was uh, a demon trapped. A demon that once heard of heavy metal when he had to execute Johnny Chopin in hell and she told him that you know you have to listen to rock and roll music this is Dinos with a cat trying to be Batman which is always trying to do something stupid I managed to make a guest appearance of Dave Ellison in the comic because he gave me one of his songs The Pull of Punches I put him on my comic and he says do you want me to uh, place your comics on Jackson guitars. So of course, of course, the situation of the economics is something that um, can allow you to do this as your first job. So you have to be hungry. Even though this is my 18th year of me doing this, 
I always uh, did this incognito. So this is the second time I've been in, uh, in Venice. It's very nice. It's, uh, and I think the best thing of all this is that you meet the people that used to read your comics and they're the same people as you. And practically they're, they're your friends. These are people that you can actually go for a beer with, talk about the same things and they have a very positive energy that you can share. The from the first day that I came here, uh, artists came and greet me. I saw that they work and you can collaborate with other people. You can, it's like a core that everybody comes in, expand your mind, expand your possibilities. Hello, I'm uh, George Nisaropoulos. Melis. Currently I'm working on two new titles. They're going to be out uh, in uh, September. So this one, The Island of Madness. And another one's going to be about uh, Kung Fu. There's also an English version of that and I'm hoping that I can find an English publisher as well. It's called uh, Gods in Crisis. It's already online in Amazon in English. So this one is about the Greek crisis and how the gods try to blame the uh, mortals. Like the financial crisis. Yes, that's yeah. right. It's a financial crisis in, in ancient Greece. Yeah. That's, that's the idea. I'm currently working on my own uh, video game, which is called Not Another Weekend. And it's going to be out in a couple of uh, months. Uh, it's a point-and-click adventure that uh, reminds you of the old-school era of uh, point-and-click. A bellboy that wants to throw everyone out from his hotel in order to fulfill his uh, dark secret. Uh, but everyone from the hotel is a, a pop icon from the 80s. So for self-publishers, this event had dedicated an entire second venue, the French Institute of Greece, which isn't surprising because French institutes around Europe are actually very active in promoting comic art. I'm from Athens, Greece. That's the first time I participate in this uh, event. Ivory what? Ivory years. And uh, it's a small collection from tales uh, by Byzantine chroniclers from medieval Greece. I talked with some fans, I met some internet fans for the first time. I made some friends. They were following me online, I told them I would be here. And they came, so we met for the first time. Very nice. Paper. Oh. She's like has a real old fashioned paper, paper, something. Ah, oh, nice. Super cool. I like this kind of vintage type look. So. Very cool. Hi, my name is Vasily Dimopoulos. I'm from Greece. Yeah. From Athens? From Athens, yeah. Mm -hmm. For, I have been here at, in Comic Dome at the uh, self publishing alley for you know, three or four years now. That you, you get to be with uh, other people that have uh, the same passion as you, and uh, that's great. Yeah. You do everything the yeah, yeah, script, yeah. the writing, uh, yeah, the coloring, inking, penciling, everything. Yeah. Cool. And it's about uh, Barga, it's uh, this yellow alien guy that uh, writes stories about humans. Uh, he tries to sell the, his stories to an alien publisher. In black and white there are it's like three, the frame story. three short stories that... Uh, yeah, 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 three of Vargas' stories. Cool. Uh, my name is Nikos. You're making your illustrators? Uh, yeah, I'm a comic book artist and a pinup artist. I have been drawing since I was very little and making comics and all that stuff. I really love it. It's my hobby ever since I was born. Uh, with conventions like this one, it's really good for artists, for independent artists to show their work to, pe to the people. You know. This is my new book. What's the name, sorry? In Nomino Patris. Yeah. 
folklore story about a plague doctor that becomes a monster and terrorizes Balkan villages and stuff like that. Nice. Hi, I'm Panagiotis Mitrosis and uh, I'm a Greek student artist. For four years now I have been uh, sketching, drawing uh, everything I can see, anything from, uh, from imagination. This is my sketchbook, one of my recent ones. Um, at uh, 18 years old uh, I decided that I wanted to be an artist and I wanted to be sketching more and more. I came to Comic Dome, uh, this is my first time uh, doing this, so obviously it was a very stressful experience, but uh, I think uh, that I made it and uh, everything has been sold out. This is like uh, the first uh, comic I did, Sibuna, The New Kingdom. It's uh, about a guy who uh, travels uh, around and he wants to discover the new kingdom, but in the way he discovers his true self. It doesn't have a lot of detail in it. That's, uh, that's what I wanted to do in this comic. So when you open it, you see yourself in it. This is uh, the other book. It's uh, based on uh, uh, one of uh, Plato's uh, texts, ancient Greek text. So one of the stories that uh, Plato wrote down, it was with Socrates and uh, Diotima. Uh, Socrates asked, uh, what is love and uh, who is he? And the modern version is like two guys at the bar sitting, like uh, normal people, and asking, like, who is love? And uh, they discover through this story that love is actually a person. And we discover at the end of the comic that uh, who that person is. I'm busy at school because I have one year left. I'm like uh, 20 years old and uh, I have only one year to go. But I will be at AthensCon, I guess. Uh, I really hope uh, that uh, I see you there. Yeah. Thanks so much. What's your name? Uh, Karina. I'm Karina Maver. Uh, I've, been, I've been drawing my entire life. I went to university to do illustrations. Um, but I started making comics about four years ago, three and a half, four years. Um, generally, I work as an illustrator now. That's my, that's my boring old day job. I don't really get the chance to come back to Greece very often, so it's a really good chance for me to just see all my friends at least once a year. So I started with something very simple, no dialogue, just one color, because I really wanted to work on my pacing before I kind of moved on to bigger projects. Uh, this one's my newest one, so this one's gonna be short, funny stories about the everyday life of a little um, dumb couple that live in hell. Or, or the underworld, depends on how you see it. It's a comic collective called Comic of Slum Party, and we generally, they generally try to Get new talent um, and promote them through this anthology. So usually we put out a book once every one or two years. Amazing, funny story. And everybody who worked on it worked so hard and it turned out really well. And I'm really, really proud of it. I've been in London for about nine years, and I do want to come back to get started on it. I wish I had somebody to come and tell me, like, hey, you'll be okay, you can yeah. do this. The self-published works were every bit as stunning as anything from the bigger publishers, and at Comic Dome Con, it was really uplifting to see them afforded uh, equal space and an equal chance to show their abilities. I did want to catch up with some award winners and veterans of Greek comics, so I walked back over to the Hellenic American Union. Hi, my name is Panas Karabalios, and uh, I am the creator of one, uh, how they call that, 100, and, uh, 1800. This was my first book, and uh, that was uh, the, if I take the, how they call that, the price of the first, uh, I'm nominated. Uh, it's uh, the story of one family, one father with uh, his kids and his wife. Mm -hmm. His uh, retirement from his uh, life as a warrior, let's say something like that. And he lived a peaceful life. But when you live in blood, blood come and look 
again for you. Sorry for my bad English. No, uh, and have you worked as an illustrator in the past? Or? No, no. I used to work as a waiter. The biggest place on our biggest universities now is YouTube. You know, you work alone. If you have, uh, I work uh, to s to learn uh, the programs. You know, clip art, uh, studio manga, Photoshop. This is uh, all digital. In uh, Greece, is something like that. Mm -hmm. You don't have the luxury to uh, be storyteller or uh, artist or colorist. You must do all, all the things. <laughs> one person. I have the chance to meet uh, Dimitris. He's uh, one of the best illustrators in Greece. Have a look yeah, over we there. Met, we met. I saw his stuff. Uh, I'm George Kautsunis. I'm Greek Canadian. I mostly do cover art for IDW, Boom Studios, OD Press. Uh, I've been in London for 10 years, but I'm coming back to Greece. Uh, I do limited screen print art for Mondo and Bottleneck Gallery in the States. Um, I currently just finished a huge series of Batman the Animated Series prints for Bottleneck. Uh, all the artwork. It's a different feeling to meet like Greek colleagues versus US colleagues. Um, I think just because uh, there's more of a closeness between us here and uh, we all support each other and uh, people support each other in the States too but it's a lot harder to come across people you really want to meet. They're all spread out at lots of conventions. Everyone seems to love this for some reason. <laughs> so everyone just loves the design of it, yeah. It's, uh, this one is Ninja Turtles. Nobody really likes this. This did very poorly, so I just give it away for free with one of these prints. Yeah, hello, I'm Spiros. Spiros Dervenotis, if you can possibly pronounce that. Uh, born in Greece, raised in Athens, and uh, creating comics since I was roughly 16 years old, professionally. This is part of a trilogy, of an ongoing trilogy, which started with Yesterday Now, which started as a joke between artists, actually. Mm -hmm. And it was... Uh, we were really tired of all this... Uh, uh, reboots, uh, prequels, uh, republishings of uh, films, and they said, what if there was a serial killer that was actually killing the old actors before they started uh, acting again in sequels of their old world? The same heroes that started yesterday now are exploring this universe now in this book. Best script and best comics for 2019 in the Greek Comics Awards. Uh, half of my profession is comic books, uh, the other half is political cartoonists. Do you work in uh, like newspapers or magazines or something with this? Well, I used to, but now the whole of the profession in Greece has imploded with the crisis, so it's difficult to actually find work as political commentator because nobody wants the independence of, of a cartoonist. Mm -hmm. They are all part of the problem in crisis in Greece right now. Also, the bookstores have imploded, so the only thing that you can make a huge uh, break with uh, a new work is in the conventions. So everybody tries to steer their new publications towards the dates of the conventions. Yeah, yeah born and raised, pretty much. I mean, I'm still a child at heart, so I don't know if that counts. I've been in and out of uh, the comic scene for at least 10 years, uh, most of them as uh, an amateur. last four years, I'm in it uh, for the money. <laughs> like, if, if you go over to self-publications, it's 50-50, or there are uh, more girls some years even. In, uh, in Greece, there's a really great uh, balance, in, uh, especially in new artists. Uh, all the 10 years I've been coming, it's uh, really like a family event. Uh, there's people that uh, I meet here year after year, and it's uh, a very nice community. People are very friendly with each other, and uh, there's been some real friendships made here. So it's an event I really cherish. This is uh, my latest work. We have adapted uh, Greek fairy tales into uh, sci-fi, post-apocalyptic or modern uh, story adaptations. So Butterfly Effect is uh, a comic uh, that's uh, political science. It's about what would happen uh, to make the Western civilization be on the wrong uh, side of history. So what would uh, happen about, uh, to make uh, Europe and uh, the United States uh, into refugee nations. 
that uh, would need to flee and uh, be in the position that uh, other people are in today. So I collaborated on this with the writer, Spiros Nombilakis, his first work, I had the privilege. Hello, I'm Dimitris uh, Savaidis from Adar. And uh, we are, have a small publication house, but we have a lot of love in, about comics and animation. Uh, me, myself, uh, I am a script writer. I write scripts. Many of uh, the wonderful illustrators of Greece coming, illustrating uh, my scripts and uh, making all these uh, uh, publications. Mm, this is theme park epic fantasy of uh, in the early Greece uh, ages, uh, like in 1830s, uh, that a team uh, guided by Kapodistrias himself. A comics is a, is a very special art, it's in our hearts and uh, I think it, it reaches the hearts of the audience. So <clears throat> it's a heart, from heart to heart, uh, art. I'm Kostas Falgadakis, I'm a comic artist in uh, Greece and Athens. I've been uh, doing comics uh, the last uh, 15, 20 years. Well, I started by reading comics, the American comics, the Marvel and DC comics uh, when I was uh, very young. That was about uh, 40 years ago, I was 10 years old. Uh, a very good thing was that the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the movies about the superheroes, the movies made it possible for the uh, young people to see the heroes and uh, come in contact with them and then buy the comics. Uh, the last 10 years have been difficult for many of us because of the financial crisis. Mm -hmm. But uh, now the last few, one or two years things are better. This is uh, from uh, Livani's publications. It's uh, about the travel of Ulysses. It's an uh, illustrated uh, book for uh, children and uh, more uh, big children. It's written by Aristides Douglas, he's the author, and I have the illustration. And it's about the, the whole history of Ulysses' uh, travels. It was a ton of fun to discover so many cool Greek creators. But there was one name on the program I really was looking forward to, so I present to you or whatever. Hi, I'm Elias Kiriazis. I've been uh, writing and drawing comics for quite some time. And uh, currently I'm the artist of uh, DC Young Animals comic new book, uh, Collapse. I hit every major uh, Greek event and some British ones, uh, Malta sometimes and I, I try to do New York Comic Con each year. I do spend most of my time alone at home, at home working so it's a great opportunity to socialize a bit. Especially when it comes to like a local con when you actually get to hang out with your colleagues that some of them you don't you don't see very often, you do see some once a year or something. And since 2008 I've been doing, I've been working on American comics. My two first American comics were because of uh, some, uh, the first one was a Dark Horse contest that was running uh, on, uh, for Dark Horse Presents. Back then, and the other thing was the DC contest that was doing, they were doing for uh, the online imprint called Zuda back then. They, they need to see the new series, that you can produce a number of pages. And there were a few writers that uh, liked my stuff, so they wanted to work together. One thing led to other, led to the other. Are you based in Athens? Yes, yes I live here on uh, Collapser, the menu book. Mm -hmm. I'm, it takes place in a you know, fictional DC city, a new one, and I'm, basic, I'm basing that on Athens. I mean, we're not naming the city, but I'm drawing Athens, I'm drawing Luxarchia, and it gives it like a special form. Oh, that's great. Yeah, okay. Luxanli. This is the Greek edition, but there's only like an American edition, mm -hmm. based on uh, the Douglas Adams character and the uh, Netflix show of the same name. It was an Indiegogo project and that's the Greek edition. There was an American edition, uh, an English language edition that was uh, sold out. And it's kind of like uh, a story about the um, kind of like a Facebook of the dead uh, type of thing, and like a digital afterlife. There's not enough time for me to say how profound it was for me to be among Greeks 
artistic community interpreting the social issues of their time uh, in the exact same environs where ancient Athenians were doing the exact same thing. So thank you everyone for watching. The next video up is Ue Fest in Naples and as always stay splendid. And that's the, uh, the game I'm working on right now. Yeah. The Not Another Weekend. Cool. It's a get together. Also meeting the artists is very nice because good things come out of people connecting. And I'm Harry. Also known as uh, Rubus. And, and I'm Harry. Harry. Uh, this comic has been in Metal Hammer pages from uh, 2001 since 2016. And we gathered the two pages, issues from each month, and make. Everything uh, I do is uh, to be uh, pleasant to the viewer and be aesthetic at some point. And I'm working on pitching some American comics. Uh, that's probably where I'm at. And I just came here mostly to meet other colleagues in the industry. And I was in the co-founders in the new festival in Larissa. It's in the center of Greece, a new, new festival. Yeah, we're doing a comic that it's about the history of basket in Greece. Actually starting the history of basket. Basketball? Yeah. Of basketball. The main goal is to lift new female creatives. Female, not quite. Um, That's good. Yeah. Yeah.